keep hustling, keep grinding. Be authentic, be yourself. Don't worry about being the fastest guy out there. Just worry about being the guy that delivers on what he says he will deliver. What's going on guys? So I got this job from cold calling. I bought a list of a specific zip code in my city and it has 25,000 numbers on it. I made one call, literally one call, and the guy said, let's go ahead with it. I'm just doing his driveway, which isn't too bad, but I'm just doing his sidewalk, which is what he was mainly worried about, um, which looks pretty dirty and will be very satisfying when I'm done. So, can't wait. But, cold calling, guys. I don't, I wouldn't imagine in, in, any pressure washing people with cold call, but I've had sales experience and customer service experience in the past, so it ain't nothing for me. So if you have the courage and the willingness, you can do it and get some jobs like that. So I feel like that would set you apart from competition. Um, I don't imagine most pressure washing people, you know, do that. So do it. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. I got it fueled up, everything ready to go. Let's go. All right, so I got the edges around the driveway. You can tell. And then I'll just surface clean it. It's a lot bigger driveway than I thought, and I underquoted the crap out of it. But hey, that's part of it. It's my responsibility, so. Okay, I wanted to pause here to talk about how to do a driveway. So first, I would take your wand and go around the perimeter of the concrete and you know clean it probably you know three to six inches away from the edge just because when you surface clean it's going to make it you know the surface cleaner can't really get the very edge of the concrete um so it makes it easier if you do this before because once you get done doing like pressure washing the edges all the way around you can just rinse off all the dirt and stuff and then go ahead and surface clean everything and you don't have to go back over it so do the edges first with your wand, then take your ball valve and rinse all that crap down and then surface clean it and then rinse and you're done. So I would highly recommend doing it that way. Um, just some advice for new guys. Job number two of the day. If you, if you follow me, you know that I did this roof a few weeks ago. Now I'm just doing this concrete pad. The guy that hired me for this job has given me a lot of work, so I gave him a good deal on it. My minimum requirement is 200 bucks, so we agreed at a price a little bit lower than that, which is fine because he's provided a lot of work. A good paying job, so I ain't, I ain't hating on that. So. We'll get this thing knocked out for sure. If you're new to pressure washing, you need to have this tool right here, the ball valve. You hook it to the end of your hose and you can switch from surface cleaner to wand and without having to, you know, run back to the machine and cut it off and do all that crap. And this thing is just a, a bulk cleaning and rinsing tool. It's amazing to rinse dirty concrete and just rinse things off in general. It's a, it's a great tool to have, makes it a lot easier. So definitely get one of these for sure if you're just starting out. All right, I'm done for the day. That front patio concrete is from the 80s. So there's a lot of stuff that's not gonna come out of it. Homeowner knew that. It's actually one of his rental properties, so he's getting ready to have some renters move in. He wants to you know get it in a nice condition. So looks ten times better. Still not gonna look new, but that's alright. As long as you set the expectations for your customers, it can be be real, be authentic. Don't over promise crap that you can't deliver. 
you'll be all right. So that's pretty much it, guys, for today. Keep hustling, keep grinding. Be authentic, be yourself. Don't worry about being the fastest guy out there. Just worry about being the guy that delivers on what he says he will deliver. Put the time, effort, and energy it takes. Don't quit. Figure it out. Talk to everybody you know and tell them that you're pressure washing. And that they won't pay you a dime until they're completely satisfied. That's how you should that's how you should tell people in your estimates. I right, look, what separates me is you're not gonna pay me a freaking penny until you're absolutely satisfied. So that's it guys. Be yourself, be a hard working man, provide for your family, have the courage to call people, follow up with people, learn how to handle rejection because it's gonna happen, and you'll be alright. I love you guys. Talk to you later.